everybody, welcome to Cindy's Place. My name is Savannah and today we are going to be making pumpkin cupcakes. Okay, so the first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line a um, 12 muffin tin pan with cupcake liners. And then the next step is to whisk one cup of flour, one cup of flour, Savannah's going to be my baker today. That's my granddaughter. And we have a little uh, helper in the background there rearranging magnets. <laughs> helper, yeah. <laughs> so, one cup of flour and baking soda. Baking powder. Baking soda. We'll need baking soda. So, one teaspoon of baking soda. She forgot to get her spoons out. I did forget. Is that flour in the bottom there? Yes, that's flour in the bottom. So we have one cup of flour in the pan. So next is to do baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. Half teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking soda. Here's our baking soda. Oh wait, it was a half. Okay, sorry. Okay, a half baking soda. Okay. And then baking soda, baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, now I have the right measurement. Teaspoon of baking powder. 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 Salt. How much salt? Half of a teaspoon of salt. Cinnamon, then one teaspoon. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Shaker. <laughs> Ooh, it smells strong. Very cinnamony. Yes, very cinnamony. Soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie spice, and one and a half teaspoons. So one. So one and one half. Oh, it won't fit. Dang it. Uh, did you do the half teaspoon first? I did the one teaspoon first. That doesn't look like a half. That looks like... What is the measurement on that spoon? Half teaspoon. So you're putting two teaspoons? Yeah, so a teaspoon and a half. Okay. I should let her cook. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, spice together. So now we... Whisk together. Should have got a smaller pot because there's not much in here. That's okay. We're being serenaded by her little brother in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then set aside and then get a different bowl. Set aside. 
whisk oil, olive oil, half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of olive oil. That might be all that's in here. Okay, crisis averted. We got half of a cup of oil, olive oil. of a cup of olive oil, eggs, we need two large eggs. Sorry, it's loud. And what do we do with our eggshells? We, um, we rinse them and crush them for fertilizer. For right? calcium to put in our plants. Yes. And I'm going to do it later. We don't waste anything here, do we? No. Okay. Eggs, brown sugar. And we need brown sugar. A third of a cup. So, a third of a cup. Yeah, it got a little bit dried out. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh man, this is not Our brown sugar got a little dry, didn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. I think that's probably, yeah, think that's, that's enough. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. Vanilla's good. Yep. <laughs> that was probably more than two. She prefers to do this by hand instead of using the mixer, silly yes. girl. I don't know why you like the mixer. That chunk. That's probably brown sugar. Probably. Oh yeah, brown sugar coated in vanilla. Yeah. Okay, this might take a minute to get the brown sugar clumps. Okay, I think I got all of it. Now, next, pour wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Sorry, I made a mess. That's okay, all good cooks make messes. Okay, now here's our dry ingredients. Here's our wet ingredients. Pour it in. Watch the camera. You want to take that? Mm -hmm. I can't see 
ba? Yun. Did I get it off? I can't really see. Without getting in the way of the camera. Oh, here, go ahead and scrape the bottom. We'll see. Our wet and dry in here and now we're gonna mix it up we took a quick cleanup break now you mix the wet and the dry together and it should be pretty thick You're gonna go take a little nap? No, full, full. Oh, okay. Full, full, Sugar? Full, full, nap, nap. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty combined. Is it thoroughly combined? Yes, it's yeah, pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go grab a spoon and the tin. I mean the Thanks. muffin tin. Thanks. Okay, so it's all combined. Mmm, it looks yummy. Yes, it does. Now I'm gonna scoop into a muffin tin. I would say cookie tin. And how full do you fill the muffin? And, and about halfway, right? About, yeah, about three quarters actually. How about three quarters? We'll do a little Just more. Just a little over half, not much. A little over half. Yeah, we want to give it cooking room. Savannah is 11 years old. And she cooks like a pro. My hands are clean, I swear. <laughs> She's a very good baker. She loves to cook. Hi. 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 And there's Ethan, my little rug rat. Okay, and I'm just going to finish filling up these tins. Oh, whoops. Mm. It's okay. Good thing the batter's thick. And I'll just finish filling these up. Okay, and we'll be right back with you. Yep. So I finished scooping them in. Um, it was supposed to make 12, but we only got 11. So now we're gonna take this over to the oven. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Careful, it is very hot. There we go. And then my sheet. To bake them for about 20 to 22 minutes. So we're gonna go in between for 21. And the oven number jumps down. Okay, so now we're going to be making the icing. We need one cup of melted butter, which is two sticks, two sticks of butter, okay, and then you will need butter, you will need two to three teaspoons of vanilla, so we have vanilla. And you have to pour vanilla slowly, right? Yes. As we learned earlier. <laughs> very, very slowly. So that's one. It said two to three. So how many? Depending on how much you want the vanilla taste. Three. Because we like vanilla, don't we? Yes. Two. Three. Yay. Okay. 
So now you will need one to two tablespoons of milk. I'm just gonna dip it out of this cup. One to two, so like one and a half. Is that cup dry inside? Yes, it is. I made sure. Okay. So four cups of powdered sugar. And this is for our homemade ice cream. Uh, not ice cream. <laughs> Icing. Icing. Icing for the cupcakes. Yes. So that's one. And then... It's not hard to get out of that baggie, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. I'm going to guesstimate this is that two to three cups. You need four. So... And we'll put the whole uh, recipe in the description. Yes. And we've got uh, Noisy Pants back there making noise with his dominoes. Oh, he's still playing with them? <laughs> yeah, he's still playing dominoes. Oh, he's watching cartoons. He is, well, he's kind of watching cartoons and kind of dominoes at the same time. Hmm. He's multitasking. What was that? This is three, right? Yes. Check. Yeah, it is. And I'm making a bit of a mess. I'm sorry, Grandma. That's okay. A messy cook is a good cook. I'll clean it up, I promise. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so since this is all out, we're going to break into the jar. Oh, hey, you do, you do the same thing as I do for paint. Yep. Use, um... Rain wrap instead of the jerry lid. Ah, mess. Messy cook. That's because you can't can sugar, and I use that for like a moisture barrier. It actually works really well. Yeah, you forgot to put the lid top on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> gotta hold the saran wrap down. gonna want to did you get all your ingredients in yes okay you saw me put the milk in right yes okay just check okay now the mixer extension cord help <laughs> okay okay let's scoot it back just a little bit yes she said start on one yeah I'll do it on one just to get it mixed all up You want to make it nice and poofy. Yes. This is our ice cream. Uh, ice cream. <laughs> I think. I must be craving ice cream. I keep talking about it, huh? Okay, and once it's combined a little bit like this, you can turn it up to about three. Sorry about the noise. Yeah, sorry. This is what you gotta do for the icing. And you can take your spoon and go around the edge. Yes.
and this part is optional there we go. but just for a little color we're gonna add a few drops of food coloring just to give it a little pizzazz yep because the cupcakes are gonna be slightly orange so yellow will go good with it <laughs> Yes, I'll take, here's a little secret. Turn it back on one, put it back in there. Just on one, and slowly lift it up. There you go. There. And you got a lot of the icing off of it. Yep. And we have perfect yellow icing. Nice yellow, yellow icing to put on our orangish cupcakes. Yep. Okay, and we will see you when the cupcakes are done. So our cupcakes are cooled, our icing, is finished. Nice cupcakes. And how you'll know they're done is they have a nice spring to them. So now we're gonna ice them. Scoop of icing. And we're gonna use the back of the spatula to kind of smear it around and spread. And this is a lot of icing for 11 cupcakes or 12, depending on the size of your. Um, you need a little bit more on there? Can. Yeah, it's a little bit more. So you can have it pull all the way around to the edge. Yep. Maybe you just kind of spread it instead of pushing so hard. I'm not pushing hard. Okay. Look, you're pushing a little bit hard. You can use a little more on the edges. Don't go sparingly with the icing. We made a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of icing for a dozen cupcakes. Make sure it's nice and thick. Hold on, Ethan. And we have a little one here. He's been chomping at the bit to try one of those cupcakes. Yes. Mommy, yeah. mommy, mommy, can we have that finished done? No. Where do we get it finished with our video and then we'll munch away? Okay. <laughs> We're almost done, Mr. Ethan. He, needs to, he just can't wait for the cupcakes. I get he holds the hot head. <laughs> How about you be our taste tester when we're done? Yeah. Okay, we're going to let Savannah go ahead and finish putting all the icing on here and we'll show you our dish when we're done. Okay, so I finished icing all the cupcakes. Here Hello. they are. Hello. Hello. And now we're going to get Mr. Taste Tester's opinion and see if they're good. Okay, which one do you want? Do you want this one? Yeah. You got in my hand. Oh. Okay, take a bite. What do you think? Like it? Did we get a thumbs up? <laughs> Two thumbs up. Yay! Oh, those must be good cupcakes. That was good. good. Good job. All right, Miss Savannah. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Savannah. Then this was Savannah's cupcakes. Her pumpkin cupcakes. I guess, oh my. Made with pumpkin pulp. 
and this is her homemade icing. So we're going to call this a good one, huh? Ethan, is this good? Two thumbs up from Ethan. It must be good. Okay, where's your cupcake, buddy? Right here. Oh, Take okay. Here you go. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy cupcake. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.